post. Yeah. The last post. Oh. Adding to the collection. something we didn't actually think we were going to do it's a bit premature for us um, but unfortunately nothing else we can really do is it no so this is um as we say life gets in the way it does get in our way and it has quite quite dramatically really for the last how many months 21 months it's been a tough old 21 months i think i've driven Back, well, thousands of miles every day. That's seven oh, days a week. Not thousands of miles every day. No, in total. 300 miles a week. Yeah. And um, the car's feeling sad as well. Really. So, I've had enough. Yeah, it's had a lot of work done it during the summer. It's had two new tyres on. No, that's, that's in the last week. Yeah, in the last in, week. In the last... 21 months. It's had welding done, it's had new suspension, yeah. it's had new steering, because it's just worn out. Yeah. But not me, because I did all the work. He's <laughs> done all the work. Um, but we had to keep it going. Yeah. And at the time we couldn't afford another car, so we just had to bite the bullet and keep that one on the road. That's right. So. It's tiring, it's tiring for me, backwards and forwards all the time and well anyway, um, decision was made a few weeks ago. and uh, we've been looking at different um, options and we hope we've come to the right conclusion of where, how we're doing this, uh, which we're going to carry on in vlogs. So we are stepping away from the boat for the time being. Um, well, we're stepping off. away from this boat. This what this boat uh, for good. Yeah, sadly, um, off the canal. This canal. Um, I'll still be doing some vlogs about it, about the canals um, around our area. A lot around our area, which is the Wilkes and Barks Canal coming on which is coming on to which will be the two um, circles that will be coming from Abingdon Thames so there's a few things that's going on Gloucester Gloucester and Sharpness all being linked together and it is progressing and at a quite an amazing speed um, and where we're going to it is literally walking distance Canal, to the canal. Um, I featured it before in some of the vlogs that I've done. Uh, so you'll see more of that. You'll see the construction work going on. You'll see us with the um, trust itself, Works and Barts Trust. Uh, so we hope to feature a few bits and pieces of that so you can see the progress. And hopefully, when it's all linked together, we'll be there filming when the first boats come onto the water, comes through. So please carry on watching. In the meantime, it's going to be more of what's going on around us um, with featuring granddaughter Lily as she progresses through racing. All sorts of things really. Um, me with the choir. I'm going back doing some more work with the dogs. 
so I'm out judging next year and a few things like that. We've also, what we're planning to do as well, is take the knowledge of what we've learned off the boat, although we did have solar panels before we moved on the boat, so we yeah. knew all about that. Oh, we had them on the house as well. So we had them on our house, and we're going to implement eco living, green living, where we're going. So we'll be vlogging about that as well. So that will be all featured on this channel. So there's going to be a little bits of everything. So I hope you continue to watch us as we progress on our new journey. And we're just coming up to our final bends, I think. We're on our, probably our last mile of cruising. Yeah. Um, Sadly. She's going into a marina on Broke Ridge. Uh, I don't know how long it takes to sail. It's now coming on for winter. Maybe we should have made this decision in the summer, but we didn't. So, the last few weeks, we've been some friends of ours that we haven't told yet, so this, this won't be going out until we've told them. Yeah. Um, and they're going to be upset. Yeah. But it's not, yeah, it's not, not enough. Um, it's yeah. got to go on Broke Ridge. She has. And, uh, Amanda looks after her mum every day. In fact, she'll be going there after we get down there this morning. Yeah. First thing. Um, we left just gone eight o'clock. Marina opens at nine, so yeah, we know where we're going. Because we, we, we know where we're going. Because I dropped the car off last night and walked back to the boat. For the last two years, I've I've, I've been taking the boat between Devizes and, and a place called Foxfield. Well, we got to Foxfield this year. Other years, we only got as far as Bedwin. Um, purely so Amanda was within half hour's drive with my mother's where she goes every day to look after. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nobody knew this was going to happen. Yeah. We certainly didn't know. No, we didn't. But we've um, had, we've been on her for over four years. Yeah, and yeah four years. We have time. seen some nice places, not as many as we wanted to see, obviously. Of course, um, we've had lockdown for the last, you know, Hasn't for the last well since you've been it was a month after you started yeah. caring for your mum it was I mean the thing is with, with our vlogs we've been restricted on where we're going and to be perfectly honest I filmed it we filmed yeah, it, before, seen it all before several times and there's only so much you can carry on talking about the same canal though it's pretty it's same, same 25 miles yeah, stretch, yeah it's very pretty and we love it absolutely love it but there is only so much. And to be fair, we've really hadn't had any problems with Never Enough. There's only been a, four years, just a few a few things that have gone we wrong. Caught in the ice once. Got yeah, caught in the ice once. We've had abuse yeah. twice. Aimed at me twice. Both on the towpath. Must be you. Must be me. <laughs> both times with the dogs as well. Yeah. So that both of those wasn't a very pleasant experience. And also, quite earlier on, the, the dogs were attacked by a dog from a boat, um, which was really, really nasty, which actually put pay to me showing the dogs. Um, because they ended up getting so upset every time I saw another dog. They um, still do. They still do. They react, they've gone reactive, and there's really nothing that can be done with it. So I do, if you ever seen on the towpath, it's not that I don't want to come over and say hello to you with a dog, it's just the fact that the girls get upset, they get stressed. And there is no point, it was a nasty attack, it was reported. Um, and they did nothing about it. And nothing was done about it. That's what happens. I wasn't injured. Had I known, <laughs> they don't care about dog on dog attacks, but if the dog had attacked me, that's a different ball game. Uh, so unfortunately, the two girls, well, three of them, all three girls, the Tiller girls, were subject to that horrendous dog attack, something I've never seen in all my life that I've been involved with dogs. Um, and I hope I'll never see again. I'm lucky that no one, none of my dogs were killed in that attack. So that's why <laughs> I do apologise if you've ever come across this. Um, I do try and keep them away. But on the, good, on the positive side, really, um, 
I might take them back out in the show ring to see how they're going to do next year. Um, they'll, be, they'll be veterans then, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, they might be okay. It's just a bit of fun with them at this age. Nothing serious. It's just get them used to the system. Tell me if knock you off, not Yeah! <laughs> I can't turn the camera around, otherwise I'd show you, but the GoPro's on the front, so I'll show you the footage. But this is so classic. So classic k and But we're so used to it now. Well, that, I mean, not all stairs, but then, especially on the long pound, which predominantly we've been on um, for the last two years, <laughs> yeah. it's 15 miles long, and... and there's loads and loads of places. I mean, these reeds, obviously they're dying back now. Um, normally you get a channel wide enough for an hour boat. Yeah. And Mark and Julie, yeah. well, they, they filmed it. They filmed it many um, times. Mark and Julie, we're on the move. <laughs> you can't see. You can't really see. It's like driving the boat from the field. No, no. It is, it's, it's difficult, but then it's... A, most of these banks have been worn away and they're doing their best to preserve them and build them up and and the reeds are one way of trying to anchor everything in place so just got to live with it really it'll never be like all the other big canals with all the strips or arm no, down the side it just won't happen more in. Yeah. there are certain places which we've been lucky the last few stops we've been on rings and um yeah. Was that? It was Crofton, Wooden Rivers, Foxfield. We were on, uh, yeah. on rings. Yeah, it's not bad. But um, I must admit, the, the K and A is full of wildlife. Yeah, so you need a long wildlife. plank. You do need a long plank. You do, yes. But we've seen everything here. Um, the otters are increasingly coming. Yeah. Although we haven't seen one other 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 friends of ours have. We know have. But we've seen mink, mink many times down here. Yeah. Many times. So it's not an ideal if you've got to <laughs> leave your cat out because the mink are here. Yeah. Not good. But deer, we, Froxfield was great watching the herd and of deer snakes every and moles. every night. Yeah, yeah. And the birds, loads Beautiful of birds. birds. Yeah. Kingfishers, abundance of kingfishers. And herons. Yeah. And this year, especially up at um, do, 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 Crofton, there was a lot of cormorants. Oh yeah, five, five I saw in yeah. one day. Yeah, in, in one at one time fishing. Yeah, cool. I, yeah. I opened the duck hatch after Mandy had gone for a month one morning, and um, there was four of them on the surface, and one popped up, a nice sized fish in his mouth, about a foot long, and he sort of turned around as his mates flew off, <laughs> wondered what was happening, dropped the fish, and off he went as well. So uh, he didn't get his breakfast, well, not that one anyway. Uh, and I took a really good snap of a cormorant with its, with its wings outstretched in the front of the boat, at the front yeah. of the boat on the towpath. And the, the cormorant is an emblem of the um, the Defence Academy or the Staff College where I worked. And I've just been recently back to do the remembrance services, so that was quite nice. Well, I was quite special to see that just before. Now, that was the first gigs I've done since lockdown. So that again is, is 21, 22 months. No, even longer than two years. Um, what? Since we've sung with the choir. Yeah, I suppose it must be. Two years. Morning. Morning. Uh, so yes, it's 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 very sad day today. I don't like it. Last night was our last night on board. It was a difficult decision to make. Yeah. But, you know, I, I I believe it's the right decision. Um, it's nothing because, else we could do really. Yeah. Uh, Quality of life. I mean, it was, it's no quality for Mandy. Up every, well, she's up every morning early anyway, but drive to her mum's, see to her mum all day, and then drive back. And then we sit on the boat, we're not going anywhere. The only time we moved is when I moved it. Yeah. Um, I haven't cruised for her, I haven't been on her to cruise. Well, I can't even remember the last time, which hence why there's been no videos. I think the last just... time was when we went from Wilcox to Milk House. Yeah. And that probably a year ago. And locks. Locks, yeah. Yeah, locks. My last locks were where were they? That must have been yeah. Wooden Rivers? Yeah. Wooden Rivers. A wobbler back. Well back. Yeah. Or did you? Well, yeah. It 
course. What the river is going over quite often, because I think yeah. as we went over to Bedley, um, that was Shouty Man, wasn't it? Yeah, Shouty Man. That was the summer of 19... <coughs> yeah, some, no, summer 20. So yeah, that's that's Shouty Man, Man. Mr. Angry. Mr. Angry. Well, it's open, we don't... We've had a heron fly through the front of the boat, by the front of the boat, on the bow. So I hope that's picked it up. I haven't seen any kingfishers yet. Quite nice to see a kingfisher before I step off this boat for the last time. Um, so that is roughly the idea of what's going on. We're going to sort of talk you through how we made a decision boat. how to how we made a decision and who to go with and looking at the options um costings to a point yeah. and and the decision why we we decided to sell the boat down here on the Kennet Navy and it, but you'll see all that in in the future vlogs um so it's going to be oh, not to be far from it now I can hear things so the vlog is changing slightly. Um, as I say, there will be canal content in it. There will be um, more information, more bits and pieces about Lily as she's going for racing. And of course, the horses I've got shares in, which were given to me by a birthday present from my daughter, Charlotte. And, which has been great, because Lily looks after one of them, which is all the glory. And she came in third last time out. And she's due to go racing next month, which is 12th of December, I believe. If I can remember, it's a Sunday. Carlisle, I think John Joe said. It's a long walk. It's Carlisle. So, yeah, I'm not going to that one. She was racing at Warwick. So, fingers crossed for that. She's in a mare's bumper. So, I'm hoping to go down and see her with Lily soon. Um, so, you'll be part of that journey as well, see how she gets on because she's only a four year old and I've also got um, an unraced two year old who is not racing until next year because she's a big girl so they're letting her grow on a bit. So the channel is changing slightly direction but we aren't stepping away completely from the canal because I said we'll be following Wilts and Barks and their progress at the moment because they'll be going under the M4 which is going to be interesting because they've just done what was it they've just built an underpass an underpass okay. yes um, not far from junction 16 at the M4 and I say that's walkable distance from where we are where we're going um, or five minutes by car so it's all very, very close. So, right, here comes the marina. So, right, got to sign off now and speak to you later.